Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranjit Raj, and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So today uh, we are going to discuss what is exponential distribution simulation modeling. So likewise in other videos uh, we have the concept and a problem to solve based on this exponential distribution. So here are some concepts. Let's get started. So first of all, this exponential distribution is mainly used to solve the cases uh, where there is a failure in some manufacturing or there is some defect in some product. So whenever in a problem you encounter that failure rate is there or a failure or defect is uh, there in that product or item then uh, you just have a small click that it is based on the exponential distribution. So this is the uh, key or the idea behind how to differentiate between exponential distribution and the Erlang distribution. So in Erlang also you will all, uh, encounter the exponential distribution keyword but uh, in exponential mainly you have this failure as you can see distributed with failure. So this failure rate comes only in exponential distribution. So that is a characteristic for solving this exponential distribution. So we have this uh, f of x here that is lambda into a raised to minus uh, lambda x for x greater than 0 and it's 0 otherwise. Next we have the main formula for solving the problem that is capital F of x your CDF which is uh, over the integral that is t to infinite e raised to minus lambda d dt and which evaluates as 1 minus e raised to minus lambda t. Now uh, this exponential distribution is a property and it exhibits the memoryless property. Now there are two kinds of property that is memoryless and memory full. Now this memoryless property what it does is basically uh, it drives the current situation without involving the output of the uh, previous one means uh, at each and every stage it has its got its own dynamic uh, inputs for uh, carry forwarding the procedures so that's what its memoryless property next uh, we have this that is uh, when additional parameter apart from x and t we have some additional parameter that is s and if this s comes into this picture then how this equation is going to change that we are going to see now so first of all uh, we have this probability lead that is if probability of x is greater than s plus t given that probability of x is greater than s then it will be probability of x greater than t so uh, we have to prove this so for proving this uh, we will write this equation in this manner that is probability of x greater than s plus t divided by probability of x greater than s so we will solve this so when we apply this formula that is we substitute for lambda into a raised to minus lambda since here t is not there s plus t is there so we will put it as s plus t divided by lambda into here it is s so a raised to minus lambda s so when you evaluate this this and this gets cancelled you have a raised to minus lambda s into a raised to minus lambda t divided by a raised to minus lambda s so this and this gets cancelled and so for this it is probability of x greater than t whenever if this is the case for solving the problem we will have to apply only e raised to minus lambda d and not this one so this and this are both different so we have to consider the case and to apply this formula so uh, we will move on to the problem so this is the problem for this uh, it's very simple so it goes like this suppose that the life of an industrial lamp in thousands of hours between 2000 to 3000 is exponentially distributed with failure rate as lambda is equal to 1 by 3 now here it is clearly mentioned that it is a failure and so uh, we will know that it's exponential distribution and we have to solve according to its procedures we have lambda is equal to 1 by 3 and we have to find the probability that the lamp will last longer than its mean life of 3000 hours so we will go with the first case it is probability of x greater than 3 we will consider it as 3 uh, since uh, which will be easier for our calculations and since this is scale for 1000 we will divide all the values with 1000 and we have to find the probability of x uh, greater than 3 now you will not use this condition why because this is a direct condition given and not from a derived one we have not applied any additional parameters apart from x and t and so we will go by this equation that is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda t so uh, for solving this uh, you will first have to write that is 1 minus probability of x less than equal to 3 so uh, when you put this value here 
So ultimately, uh, this one and one gets cancelled. You have e raised to minus lambda t, and uh, when you put the value of lambda, that is one by three, and t. Now t here is three. Uh, that is probability of x greater than or equal to s or x small x. So it will be e raised to minus one, and this value comes out to be zero point three six. So this is the uh, first case. Now, second case you have you have to find the probability that the lamp will last between two thousand to three thousand hours. So that would be probability of two uh, thousand less than or equal to x less than or equal to three thousand. Or I'll write only as probability of two less than or equal to x less than or equal to three. So according to this equation, this goes in this manner. It is we have to find probability that is function 3 minus function 2 now this is same as in normal distribution we have solved a problem based on normal distribution for this condition so uh, this will evaluate to 1 minus e raised to minus uh, lambda into 2 minus 1 minus e raised to minus lambda into 3 so when you solve this And put the value for lambda. When you open the brackets, this one and one gets cancelled. And so uh, when you do this, you have e raised to. Uh, this will be minus e raised to minus. Uh, this lambda is one uh, by three, and so you have two by three, and this would become plus. So e raised to minus lambda three. That is lambda is one. So e raised to minus one. And so uh, after solving this, you will get the answer as zero point one four five. So till here, you have clear for this. That is the second case. Now moving on to the third case. I will not rub this below portion. So for the next, that is the lamp will last for another one thousand hours. So this is the clear hint that your this would be. Uh, T that is, uh, this would be for T that is another uh, one hour, and given that it's operating after two thousand five hundred hours, so this is the S that is the additional parameter here. So you have probability of that is uh, x greater than or equal to S plus T. S plus T is uh, now you will consider this as twenty five thousand, two thousand five hundred plus one thousand that is three thousand five hundred. So divide by thousand you have three point five. Will be probability of x greater than s. So s is 2.5. And so according to this, if you consider this, uh, you will have to subtract, and after subtraction, you will get probability of x greater than one. So it is 3.5 minus 2.5. That is one. And when you apply this, that is. Now this uh, condition gets applied here. So since this is applied over this equation and not this one, you can directly apply this, and you can put e raised to minus lambda t is equal to e raised to minus lambda is one by three and t is one. So e raised to minus one by three comes out to be zero point seven one. So uh, this is the final problem for uh, that is the we have considered all the cases and solved it according to the exponential distribution so the main factor in this is the failure rate so this is all about exponential distribution so hope you enjoyed this video from this video please hit the like button and if you have subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video